why did God allow the option for man to fall? That, that's the question that, uh, you know, I think any all of us will have to accept that we don't entirely know why that would be the case. And yet uh, there are some clues that we get from the scriptures that allow us to answer it in part. So uh, two of the typical responses to that would involve first, um, Adam was given a, f- a free will. He was given the ability to make rational um, decisions. He was given a law and it was not a law that was coercive. It was a law that was meant to bless him and his descendants. And uh, because Adam had a free will, there was a sense in which he had the ability to then transgress the law. Otherwise, um, he would have been in a different type of state, which we would say not possible to sin. And he wasn't put in that state yet. The second reason it may have to do with God allowing sin because he knew that in the totality of his redemptive purposes, it would be a way for God to glorify himself um, rather uniquely by showing things that otherwise would have been hidden or remained conserved in the depths of what I think Rutherford calls the adorable Godhead. So mercy, for example, is an attribute of God that shines forth as a result of his compassion upon sinful creatures. And so Those two are the typical answers one gets um, when asking that question. And then uh, you can imagine theologians do speculate a little bit more after that. Yeah. 